Hi guys, so in this video, you're going to learn how to launch a Facebook ad campaign on the Facebook mobile app. So you launch the Facebook app on your iPhone. Next, you have to switch into the preferred business page you want to use to do your promotion. So we're going to switch to right. So you visit your menu at the bottom right corner. All right. So then you click on the drop down at the top so that you could select the page you want to promote. So we're going to click on right. So we're switching into Grite right now. So there are different ways for you to run an ad campaign on the Facebook mobile app. So I'm going to take you to one of the most robust parts where you could do this on the app. So you visit, so you click on the menu button at the bottom right corner. Then you click on ad center. So this is where you could find so many ads. So you could actually launch your ads here and also manage ad campaigns at the ad center all right so now we are here so these are the available options we could go for so the first one says boost a post where you could use an already published post on your facebook page to run your next ad campaign so basically you just click on the boost button or you go through this channel in doing it so i'm going to show you um, another method in which you could boost your post on facebook apart from coming through here so you could actually click on boost a post and you select a particular post you want to boost on your facebook um, page timeline okay so you could see several posts you could actually select and boost so this one is for facebook why this is for instagram so very very easy so we're gonna go backwards so just click the back button at the top left corner all right so the next one is get started with automated ads so when you go for this option the system will recommend um will provide recommendations for your ad so they're like they're basically going to select the best goal or the best objective for your business and you're going to follow suit with the on-screen instruction so the next one is create a b test so you could actually do this to improve on your ad strategy now these are the official goals you could actually find at the facebook ad center okay so here this is when you actually want to decide the whole process yourself so it says start with a goal so you could go for get more messages it could be whatsapp instagram direct or messenger next one is get more leads so people could fill an instant form the next one is get more website visitors you could send um, visitors from facebook or you could send people from facebook to your website to your business website next is get more people to contact you next is get more website purchases okay so you could also go for this next one is promote your page all right so for this particular section we're going to go for the promote your page so you click on the promote your page so you right so with this you'll be able to increase your facebook page likes or followers but before we get started with the ad setup i always recommend that you should scroll to the bottom to select your preferred ad account specifically your preferred business Ad account so this particular ad account called head zero one is a business prepaid ad account it's perfect for nigerians while if you're not a nigerian you could use any other business ad account but take note don't use your personal ad account your personal ad account on facebook is the ad account that bears the exact name on your facebook uh, in profile or the name you bear on facebook so we advise do not use your personal ad account to run ads on facebook so these are the best practices professionals use on the platform so you could actually decide to change this by clicking on the ad account so you click on it then you see other options you could go for so usually at right if we set up your business ad account or your business prepaid ad account you'd see the second options which you could choose to run your ad subsequently so take note of that so we're just going to continue with the health zero one in this video but if in case you want to switch, all you need to do is to click on the preferred ad account and that's all. So kindly watch this video to the end. We're going to show you a sample where we're going to switch to another ad account. But for this one, let's just use the Health Zero one, which is already a business prepaid ad account. Okay, so we'll just click on X to continue. So after you've selected the preferred ad account or you've confirmed the preferred ad account you want to use, you're going to scroll to the top okay so this is the creative that the system automatically chose for us so you could decide to edit this if you want so basically how they came about with this um recommended creative is the primary text or the caption was gotten from this business page bio and also the photo or the flyer they used for this um advert was gotten 
from the pages um, cover photo so this is the cover photo of the page all right but you could decide to edit this or change it or you could also um, use this one just the way it is so to edit it you click on the edit button at the top right corner okay so you could now edit the media very easy so you could also decide to use a post if you want at the top right corner but for this we're going to edit the media so we'll click on edit media to change the flyer okay so we're going to select the photo or video so these are um, photos and videos from the page so we could select any of these so let's just go with this one this is just a review let's use this one to save time yeah you could also explore once you click on this drop down you'll be able to um you would be able to select add images add video or camera roll means taking a photo or a video from a mobile device and the last one is instagram so you could still collect creatives or select a flyer from instagram okay so let's just click on x for this so we're gonna go on with this particular design that i've selected so you click on done yes yeah, so we could actually use this so for the add text which is also called the primary text so you could decide to edit it maybe you should edit it and change it to like and follow our page something easy or you could make yours more exciting if you want so like and follow us let me use that so we're going with like and follow us that's okay okay so we allow you to preview so you could see it like and follow us and everything looks okay then we'll click on save changes we could continue with other setup so this ad is not is not under special ad category so it doesn't involve employment credit housing or social issues or politics so we're going to leave it unchecked so we're just going to skip that now for our location i'm going to advise you you could actually use a broad targeting a broad targeting is similar as the advantage audience or you could decide to choose your people from your own targeting where you manually do your targeting to suit what you want to achieve in this campaign or in your own campaign all right so you could also decide to use saved audiences so these are saved audiences saved audiences include smm tutorials tutorial aid media buying targets and etc so if you have more than this and you want to see them you could click on the see all then you're going to be able to see every other saved audience you've had on this particular ad account take note most of the saved audience are saved on the ad account all right okay so we're going to continue with the broad targeting like i mentioned which is the advantage audience so we click on select audience or you just click on back to continue since we are going for the advantage audience so for placements it's showing only facebook because we basically want to increase our facebook followers and basically it's actually people who are on facebook so we're just going to skip that then for your budgeting so you're going to decide how much you want to spend per day or for the whole campaign uh, yeah, so you could decide to go with the 1615 naira it's one kubo or you could or you could go with the 1800 or you could also choose your own budget so let's say for example we've decided to spend just 1700 so this is just um, a sample okay but you could go for 3000 naira per day to grow your facebook page followers okay then we always advise that run your ad for a minimum of seven days so that you could deliver properly and you get the best out of facebook and instagram advertising all right so but since this is a sample we'll just leave it at one day okay so let's just go with one day all right so okay so we are good to go then you click on the promote page to launch the ad campaign all right so you can see that the ad is currently in review so once it's approved by facebook it will start delivering okay so take note you could also use the meta ads manager to monitor your ads performance so it's also very very good and highly recommended yes the meta ads manager app so let's move forward we're going to teach you another option on how to boost your post so you go back you go back so you could actually visit your facebook profile by clicking on your profile picture at the top left corner to visit your profile okay so this is your facebook page profile the profile home or you could actually click on pages just at the bottom center so you click on page rather so click on page then it's going to take you here 
then you're going to select a particular post you want to boost so this is another option on how you could actually run your ads so let's select this one so we'll click on the boost post button so before you start the setup scroll to the bottom to select your preferred ad account okay so currently it's showing head zero one so we're going to intentionally switch into another ad account so that you're going to see that this work like we've always said do not use your personal ad account okay your personal ad account is the ad account that bears the exact name you bear on facebook so ensure that you do not use this ad account while running ads on facebook or on instagram so you're going to click on the ad account okay so we're going to select our preferred ad account so take note it must be a business ad account so for nigerians we recommend using a prepaid ad account why outside nigeria you could use either a business prepaid ad account or a business postpaid ad account so we're going to select the ad account we want to use so let's go for sag 02 so this is the preferred ad account we're going to use for this video okay so you could see that it's switching into this new ad account so scroll back to the bottom again to confirm yeah so we're using the sag 02 okay so let's begin our setup so you scroll to the top all right all right so next we're going to select a goal so you see that the system already chose the automatic but you could also choose another goal if you want so you simply click on the see more button to see other available goals so the first one is apart from the automatic the first one is get more messages get more engagement grow customer base so you could use a form to collect contact information from potential customers more like leads so the next one is get more website visitors so it's basically sending traffic from facebook to your website the next one is get more calls and the last one is get more join group requests so for this we're going to go for get more messages okay so let's click on get more messages so let's continue so you could see it's using the advantage plus creative leverage facebook data to automatically deliver different ad creative variation to people okay so you could leave that turned on so take note this our ad is not a special ad category so we won't turn that on but if you're running an ad that's all about employment social issues election or politics kindly turn on the button so that facebook would be aware of this all right so you could actually go for the three options now the benefit of using the three messaging option messenger instagram direct and your whatsapp is that facebook is going to show the option that is best suitable to your viewer so for example if your viewer prefers messaging you on whatsapp the whatsapp button is going to show there so if, if the person seeing your ads prefers messenger the messenger button is going to show all right so let's move forward next is your welcome message so you could actually edit this and tailor it to suit what you want so you click on edit all right so this is a greeting text so you could always leave the first greeting text so frequent ask question can i learn more about your business so you could always edit this and replace it with your preference so let's say for number two I can go for I am interested in your services. I am interested in your services. Okay. All right. So this is how you could play around with this one to help improve your ads conversion. So you click on save. Take note sometimes if you want to focus only on whatsapp so you could also unmark the messaging app you don't want your client to message you with so you could unmark messenger and instagram especially if you only want them to message you on whatsapp but if you want the system to decide on which of the options is best for your customer you could also select all three okay but let's leave it for just whatsapp for this video guide okay so we're selecting only whatsapp as the available option to our target audience out there now you notice that because we've selected only whatsapp if we try to edit our welcome message again so let's click on the edit button now you'd only see the preview message okay so your customers will basically 
get a hello can i get more information on this so this is the preview message is different from the faq all right so take note of that you could also consider using the previewed message and you could also tweak it to whatever you want so let's say for example i want to use hello i am interested in your services how do i start so you say hello i am interested in your services in your services how do i how do i start okay so that's all then you click on save or you could preview it if you want to check it out so this is what it's going to look like all right so very beautiful right okay so we bring down the preview and click on save so let's move forward next is our audience targeting so this is very very important all right so like i said earlier you could decide to use the advantage audience where the system automatically uses broad targeting for you from people in the age of 18 years and above and everyone in your region or your country so the system automatically going to target those kind of persons so the next option is that you could go for people you choose through targeting so if you go for this option you're actually going to set up the targeting yourself okay the next one is people who follow your profile that is your facebook page you could also go for this if you want that the next one is people who follow your profile and people similar to them so this is more like a look-alike audience okay so then the last one over there is a saved audience one of the advantage of saving your audience or you could actually do your detailed targeting on meta ads manager where you have advanced targeting tools and options for your ads okay so once you do the targeting setup there so you could save the audience and whenever you want to boost a post on the facebook app or on the instagram app you'll be able to use that saved audience because most times when setting up your ad campaign and you want to do some targeting on the app there's some limitations while using the facebook app to set up your targeting especially for the message objective whereby the system doesn't really want you to target any interest or behavior they just want you to play around with basic targeting principles more like the region the location the age and the gender but if you actually saved an audience it will be easier for you to use that same audience just take for example i've selected this saved audience so you see so this is actually a targeting we use for a health for a health conference all right so let's move forward so but for this video we're going to try to set up our own targeting on the app so we're going to click on people you choose through targeting so we click on that then you click on edit okay or you could also go for the create new it's similar with the people you choose through targeting so let's click on the create new okay so we're going to create a new target audience here so you could select a name so we're going to call it let just give it iPhone DIY. Okay, iPhone DIY. Okay, so for region is Nigeria. You could also add South Africa. So let's click on location. Let's just add South Africa. So this is just to let you know that you could actually choose other countries if you want. And you could also target a particular state. But take note, for example, if you target Lagos State, it will automatically remove nigeria okay so these are some of the principles you should understand okay yeah because lagos is inside nigeria nigeria is not inside lagos same thing if you impute nigeria lagos will automatically go out but let's say for example if you add another state lagos will still be there so let's say for example we include river state Okay, so River State, Nigeria. So you could see that it's still there. Now let's try to put Nigeria. You're going to notice that Lagos State and River State will have to go away since we're targeting the whole country. Okay, so we click on OK. So that's it. So we click on Save to continue. Now for the age, um, it's going to be best. Let's target people from 25 years because these are people who are more intentional. 
about their purchase decision. So you could decide to target men if it's something, if it's a business offering that is primarily for men or that is most that is mostly used by men or if it's women, you go for women. But if it's something that both genders, for example, this content we are promoting, both male and female can own a business. So we're going to go for all genders. So take note of that. So you can see that there's no option for interest targeting because it's a message objective all right because when you select a message objective or a message goal the system usually wants um the system usually wants to determine who sees your ad so that they're going to optimize it and give you the best result so this is more like so this is more like a default setting so this is one of the advantage of using the meta ads manager um specifically on the desktop to set up your targeting so we're going to click on the save audience to continue but this is still perfect because the system will help to deliver your ad to people who are most likely interested in the services or product you offer so you click on save audience all right so we've saved this is a new audience iphone diy so location is nigeria and south africa from age 25 and above okay so let's move forward so this is the placement so facebook and instagram is already selected so we could leave it that way so messenger is not available for this one so we just move forward now so it's time to move on with our budgeting so you could decide to spend up to five thousand naira per day or three thousand naira per day okay and don't forget always run your ad for a minimum of seven days so that you're going to get the best out of facebook and instagram advertising but since this is a tutorial we're just going to work with a small budget so let's just say 1700 naira okay so we could actually edit this um, amount so we click on the edit button we change it to 1700 naira per day so click on done then this is where you could increase the days so you could click on plus button to increase the days or if you want to run for or if you want to do that faster you could click on the calendar then you select when you want to how long your ads want to run okay so it's very easy so but for this it's just one day ad okay and we're going for 1700 naira for a full day all right so we are good to go then we'll click on the boost post so you could also consider adding more funds just in case you want to run your ad for a longer day for a longer period and the funds on your prepaid balance is small so you could click on the ad funds and pay with your card especially if you're using a prepaid ad account so to boost this post now we'll click on the boost post now button okay then our ad will start the creation process okay so we are launching our ads and congratulations the ads has been launched successfully all right so you can see that the ad is currently in review okay so this is perfect right all right so you're gonna wait for facebook to approve the ad then it will begin delivery so i'm gonna take you backwards so we're gonna go to the back go back okay so we're done so you could also follow our page on facebook to get amazing tips on how to grow a successful business online so now i'm going to share another app which you could use to manage or monitor your ad performance so it's the meta ads manager app so i'm going to open that on my device so this is the meta ads manager app so once you have this do well to sign in your Facebook account, so then you'll be able to assess your campaigns. So this is the one we just launched. You can see that it's currently in review. Okay, so once it's approved, it will start delivering. Okay, so this is a lead ad we launched for a client, so it's still running. You could see that it's still running. And this is also another one that's been completed already. Okay, now I can also show you the first method, um, the campaign we run for the first during the first method so you click on the ad account name at the top then you could search or you could scroll but let's search as an agency we have a lot of other accounts we used to serve our clients and partners okay so this is it 
all right so you can see this one is already active okay guys so do well to like and subscribe for more content visit the description section to access other video guides on how to boost your posts or run ads on the facebook app and as well on the instagram mobile app all right guys see you in our next video bye for now